I'm going to be looking at the Noob Shuttle Grease Gun and talk about how that is different from your typical Grease Gun. And from what I've already seen of it, watching videos and reviews, uh, yes, it operates differently, but it's all for the better. Uh, after that, we're going to look at the let's see, Safe Lock Coupler that you can also get from Lube Shuttle and the Lock and Lube Coupler, a, a real popular one. Let's see which one I like better there. Uh, so, when you get the loose shuttle, you get basically this and the hose. Uh, I've already attached the hose when I originally started this. I thought I was recording and I wasn't, so I've already loaded this once. But, just kind of show you how this looks and how it operates. There's a canister here, uh, which really isn't necessary for the operation of this. You kind of see here. I'm just going to screw that back on and show you my favorite part of this. Is the loading process I'm not a fan of grease guns because loading a grease gun is always messy so theirs is very simple screw off the cap it says push this up there's a plunger in the bottom push that up about a quarter inch I've noticed once I stop it'll suck back down a little bit so I'll go a little more than what I think I need and simply slide it in and screw it on that alone is enough to make me a fan of this, this grease gun. As you can see right there on the box, maybe you can see that, it says no plunger to pull back, no air gaps, no leaking grease, no wasted grease, and uh, no waste of time. The biggest thing for me is the mess it makes. So, it does operate as it should, like any other grease gun, just a whole lot easier to load. Uh, so, a few advantages there. One, with the plunger, you can kind of look down in here and see how much grease you have left. Uh, I like that. Uh, so like we said, put it in, no mess. Definitely like that. Uh, let's see. And another advantage, um, you can actually switch greases, grease says. You actually switch the grease tube without wasting it so if you have a uh, different types of this is a general purpose grease here is one I got from loop shuttle um, but they have different ones some with molly some with lithium different things depending on your application but um, so, but you can switch and just pull this out put the top back on it and put in your other grease push it up that quarter inch again slide it in so it allows you to have one grease gun with multiple types of greases. So next, I'm gonna go ahead and start putting on these couplers. Uh, we'll go over the mower and try them out. And uh, one thing I forgot to mention, how I said this works differently than other grease guns, is obviously you don't have the pullback of the plunger that normally goes in here. Uh, it just simply works on a suction. So part of the reason you have to get that grease up a quarter inch just to make sure that's filled, it'll create a suction to push it out, which gets rid of the plunger system. Um, another thing to note, uh, and I learned this from another video, you can't really short stroke this one, like come down and just come back a little bit. It won't get that suction. If you do want to make half strokes, it has to come all the way back to get your suction going and pushing it out. So come all the way back, and you, I believe you can make short strokes from this side as long as you come all the way back each time. So. And we'll start with the safe lock that you can get from Loop Shuttle. A lot like the lock and lube, you get the little push here to allow it to lock on. Slide this one off. It is windy today. <laughs> All right, we'll move over to the mower. So what I know of this uh, 
coupler. One that does have a swivel built into it, which is nice. Um, next, to uh, lock it on, you push this down, get it on the cert, let it go, then push it on. So I'm gonna try that right here. Hope y'all can see that okay. So I locked it on, I think I did, yes. And give it a push. Let's see if I got it on there. Yes, I did. Let's look here. Push it down. Oh, I heard it click that time. That seems to work pretty well. It wasn't that hard. Um, so, push this down, put it on, let go, push. And now I'm going to try the lock and lube. So now I've installed the lock and loo on the grease gun. And see here, this one swivels, but it does not come as a swivel. You have to buy that separately. So it's another piece I put on here to allow this one to swivel. Uh, to just put it straight on, it's just wherever that stops at, and it might not be in the most convenient position. So I definitely wanted the swivel. Anyway, so I've got it installed here. So the way this one operates, unlike the safe lock, uh, it's just one motion. Push this down, put it on, let it go. Shot here. I don't know if you see the claws that come out right there. Put it on, let it go. It's on there. So I'm just greasing the heck out of this one bitty. And pop to let it go. I do like that. Like I say, it takes a little more pressure on the thumb to put it on. You see those claws pop out. And that's it, it's on. You don't actually have to push it like I just did, which is required from the other one. All right. Okay, this might be a better place where I can show you uh, these clipping on. I have a grease cert right here. So, push down with your thumb, slide it over, and it does lock on good. So, that's it. Like I said, it's a, the spring does have some tension on it. It takes a little effort to push that down, but it locks on real good right there. Also, I don't think I've mentioned this yet, but um, this grease runs out of Germany, and so um, the grease gun itself is metric, and I believe the... Lock and Lube is a uh, MPT threads, but they do advertise it fits for both. And I was getting a little grease right here, but I put some uh, Teflon tape around it. It allowed me to get a little tighter and that, that fixed that problem. All right, let me put the um, safe lock on and we'll try that one. All right, and now the safe lock. So push this down. Slide it over and give it a little push. Push. Actually, I'm not having to push it that hard. I've seen other videos where it looked like they really had to push down on it. I'm not. I'm not seeing that. There you go. It's a little. You see how those both work a little better. All right, so it's actually the next morning, so I'm just gonna cut this into the video. Uh, I didn't get a chance yesterday to finish greasing the lawnmower, so um, I decided I would go ahead and just go ahead and try each coupler on, you know, one on half the lawnmower and half the other. And I don't know what's changed since yesterday, but I cannot get this to lock on. So push this down, push it on, give it a good push. See, it looks like it's working. I actually have grease going in. Watch that. I pulled it off that time, but a few times it is just falling off. Push it on. 
I'm just using this fitting here. I've already greased it, but uh, just so it's a good place to demonstrate this, if you can see it. See. And like I said, I don't know what's changed since yesterday. I wasn't having any problems with this. I don't know if I got a defective one or if I'm not doing it right. It's just not working. So I don't know. But I'm quickly changing my opinion on which one I prefer. So we'll call this a recap. So I hate to say it's a bad product because originally I kind of like this one a little bit better, but it's not working. So uh, Lock and Lube definitely gets the win. Uh, I hate to say it's a bad product because anything you get off the line, you know, it could be defective. Uh, maybe there's something I need to do differently. So I'll contact Lube Shuttle, uh, see if they can help me out or if they just need to send me another one. Um, that being said, so I'll be using the Lock and Lube at least for now. It, and I do like it. I would say the only, as long as you got a grease fitting that's just straight on where you can get the, it does take quite a bit of force here to push that down. And get those jaws to come out as long as you can do that it, it works really well now I ran into a spot uh, trying to reach into the lawnmower where you really couldn't arch my thumb up it was a tight spot and I couldn't really arch my thumb up so it posed a little bit of a problem trying to get this gun around where I can get a couple fingers on to get that out but I did finally get it on there uh, so in tight spots I would have preferred to have this one not only is it a little bit easier to push that down um, if you're trying to make an angle see if I can show you that here I'll spin it this way so if you need to make an angle to get to something you can see where this angle in the tube allow me to get in a tighter spot one this one's a little bit longer not that much but once you add the swivel here it does here let me get that a little better lined up so you can see the real distance difference there um, so it would allow you to make an angle and get this in a little tighter spot than you can get this one uh, of course I'll probably just have to get the little attachments to give you that 90 degree angle so there like I said there's things I like about both of them but uh that one not working all right so I got a hold of loose shuttle uh, and found the problem uh, if you look at their website it says they're available 24 7 so i left a message and they called me back when they're about five minutes um, easy problem to fix it turns out it's that if you put this on at a funny angle and you pull this hammer back this piece here can actually twist and when that twist it's not gonna let the hammer go forward so i don't know how well you can see that but it's flat on each side so pull that back and it's got to go all the way forward on those flat sides to engage so i guess at some point when i was putting it on this got a little twisted and if it gets even a little twisted it's not going to let it go forward so easy problem to fix i'm probably going to switch back over to this one there's a few things i liked about it a little better than the other that being said i mean i don't think either one of these i can't say is the all-in solution to all the greasing needs um, this one here it has the advantage, I think, when you're going just from uh, one grease cert to the next grease cert, and um, easy to get to. Use one motion, lock it on, hand on the gun, and just jump to the next one. Uh, downside is, it's not as nimble, so it's harder to make those corners and those tight spots, and if you get in a place where you really gotta open up your hand to get that down, it takes a lot of force, so it can be kinda, it was a little tough for me there. Um, with this one, yes, it makes the getting, you know, around the corners a little easier. I, I don't need to, since it's so easy to press, I don't really have to open my hand a lot to get my thumb arched up in those tight spots. Uh, but it's a two-part motion, you know, where you got to lock that on and then give it a good push. So, it, I think it's just really going to come down to preference. And for my particular lawnmower, I do have some tight spots, so this would work a little better for me. On a different machine, I may actually prefer the loop shuttle. Um, so it would be really nice if they made a quick coupler for the quick coupler. Something you can put in here like a pneumatic, like the pneumatic fittings have, where you can just 
put a male and female in junk between whichever couple you need at the time. Uh, I did a quick search. I didn't find anything like that. If you know something like that exists, drop it in the comments and I'll check it out. All right. So let's talk about some of the advantages and disadvantages. Um, the loop shuttle grease gun, definitely a fan. Uh, I like how easy it is to load. I like the no mess. So definitely recommend the grease gun. Downside, price point. Uh, so if you get online, and that's the only place I know you can get this, you can get it uh, directly from Lube Shuttle. I did see it on Amazon, but from the price that I've seen, you're pretty much better off getting it from Lube Shuttle. So just the gun, uh, 64.63, and there's some discount codes where you can put in to get 5% off. I'll talk about those later, and that'll get you down to 61.40. Uh, I'm going to start rounding some of these numbers, but you're going to pay $12.50 for shipping. So just to get the gun alone, you're looking at $73.90. Now I've seen other grease guns at the higher price point like that, uh, some of the better ones, but it is a little pricey for a grease gun. For me, definitely worth it. Other downside really is you can only get the grease from what I see as of now from Loop Show. So definitely best to buy in bulk. Uh, if you just wanted to buy two tubes, uh, they're only, let's see, price for two was, see it here oh yeah 17.25 put in a little discount you get it for 16.39 but again you're gonna pay $12.50 for shipping which brings your total to 28.89 um, that's kind of price that puts you at $15 a tube so the only way to really make it cost effective is if you buy it in a little bit of bulk where you get 10 uh, which is let's say 71 and with a discount 67 and you're out the door for about 80 bucks which makes it about eight dollars or two and what i'm referring to is this uh let me show you here that's my notes on pricing it's this general purpose grease this here uh, and i think that's one of their least expensive they have other greases that go up some with molly some with lithium so uh you have to look into that so comparing that let's say if you do buy it in bulk you get it for eight dollars a, a tube which you're having to buy a lot to do that I try to compare to what that would be like, you know, buying at Home Depot, and there's such a price variance depending on what type of grease you get. So, for me, what I was getting is probably a couple of dollars more. Definitely worth it to me. Uh, but you know, you know what you pay for grease, so you'd have to total that up yourself. So, when you go to buy this, though, you can get the package deal where you get what I did. Went ahead and bought the uh, ten tubes of grease and the loop shuttle. And if you bought just that with shipping, you were 136 to your house. Now, once you get above $150, you get free shipping. So I went ahead and got the lock and loop. I'm sorry, I got the safe lock. Uh, so I thought I'd try it out because really, since I was getting over that $150 uh, dollar mark, it only cost me about 18 bucks. By itself, it actually cost, let's see here, 32.55 so with the discount you get about 31 and they don't charge as much for the shipping on uh, just the coupler so 33 dollars and that's very comparable to the price of the lock and lube uh, but going back there since i went ahead and did that it, i spent the 150 dollars so i didn't pay for shipping and i'm kind of set for lube for a while but that's something you have to take into account i like the gun a lot you just can't buy these in local stores yet um, they are refillable, but you know, it's a cost in that to get the equipment you need to refill them. Uh, I can see in the future where they start carrying these in stores, certain things like that, it would probably bring the price point down. So, if you look at the lock and lube versus the safe lock, I want to tell you, um, I watched some uh, videos on this, and when they went to put this on, I seen them, you know, push that down, and they had to give it a really good force to get it to go on the cert. Uh, the Zerk, so I had a predetermined notion I was going to like the lock and loop better. But I tell you, when I put this on, I didn't find it difficult at all. I put that on there and it just popped right on. I didn't have to put all the pressure that I've seen others doing online. Uh, maybe that's my research. I'm not sure. Uh, Actually, I, I think I prefer the safe lock, and I, that surprised me. I really thought I was going to like the uh, lock, and sh lock and loop better. So, so when you start looking at the price difference between these two, you do. So, say they both run about 30 bucks. 
for either one. But this has a pre-built-in swivel. That one's another, I think it was Amazon Prime, $16 to get the swivel. So I was at, say, $46 uh, plus tax to get that combination where, you know, this is, if you just bought it, would have been about $33 shipped. Uh, I'm in Texas, so I guess I don't have stores in Texas, so I don't have to pay tax. So, so definitely a little cheaper to get this one. Now, when you start looking at the longer ones, they both make these about two inch longer for the uh, tight spots. The price, the price point's a lot closer because this one jumps up to, let's see, $52. So that one only jumps up $10. So I think that was $30. If we go to $40, plus you spend the $16 for the swivel. So they're both in the $50 range, you know, um, probably low 50s for this, mid 50s for the other. So uh, not that much of a price difference when you start looking at the longer couplings. So. And just a few other things to mention. One, obviously we're looking at the uh, pistol grip. They also have the lever type. Just has the long arm here so you can use a two-handed operation and you get that extra strength in there. Also, they have the electric type, but it is expensive. Um, $455. So if you compare that to, say, the DeWalt, which uh, I just seen on Prime for $230. So it's quite a bit more expensive to get the Loop Shuttle electric version than say like the DeWalt version. Of course, if you go with the DeWalt version, you don't get this loading system back to the old, older style grease gun loading system. But just to let you know, they do have it. Also, uh, I mentioned some discount codes. Um, it's Tractor Tie with Tim, so TTWT. We give you that 5% discount or Good Works Tractors, GWT. We'll give you that 5% discount on the Loop Shuttle. And every price I'm mentioning here is, this is April 2022. So depending on when you're watching this video, uh, they may all change. Yeah. So I hope that review was helpful. If you were looking at the Loop Shuttle or any of these couplers, I guess I gotta get to mowing now. So we're going to be looking at the Loop Shuttle Grease Gun. Uh, we're going to talk about how that... Take 300. 